you were heavily dependent on social media to kind of start getting you branded and your messaging out there. But um, yeah, every every request, connection request, I will look on that person. Because I just, I think if I'm sending connection requests to somebody, I would want them to at least be interested in who I am before they accept it. So I would expect to see that somebody has looked on my profile before they accept my request. So I always look, see what they're about, see, you know, what they're doing now, what they've done previously, if they're doing any volunteer work, that's interesting. If they've got um, a business LinkedIn, I'll jump onto that and take a look. If I've really got time, I might go to their website and take a look at that. Well, that'll be more for compliance reasons, make sure they've got privacy <laughs> and things on there. But I will always, yeah, I'll take a look at them and see what they're about. Now, they're about their connection requests. So my question then is, that is due diligence and being a compliance uh, guru i would expect nothing less but it's also pain point finding it's like a it's like a fact find you're doing as a potential mm -hmm. customer yes yeah In, but yeah i would say both happening at the same time right 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 that's why i don't do it so because i'm not selling anything um yeah, I, I, my service offering is uh, to be defined, basically. Uh, so, yeah, right. Yeah, but it is a natural curiosity as to who this person is. Because if they've got something that, if they've got an experience that I might be interested in, or they're part of an organisation that is quite meaningful to me, then I'd like to know, and I'll probably send them a message asking them a bit more about that. So it's not always the... Um, it's not always coming from the potential lead perspective, but, you know, whilst looking, it's two birds with one stone, isn't it? Yeah. Being yeah, efficient yeah. is how I'd like to put it. Being efficient more, more than just looking for the next Very person. nice. Clever. Indeed, indeed. All right, well, look, I'll tell you what, um, I know you're going to be leaving us shortly. Um, so uh, if you want to stare down the barrel of the camera and speak to the uh watching people you will get you'll get a copy of these uh shows when i cut them down and speak to your people so people that are watching you want to connect with people that are watching that you don't want to connect with uh <laughs> that, you know <laughs> that kind of thing let's make it uh make it a sort of uh message so uh you have to cough to get the camera on you <clears throat> Well, where would I begin? I think rather than use this as an opportunity to probably promote my business and sell myself, I think I would like to echo the message of why I've been invited here and what the purpose of this conversation is about, which is simply be kind. It's just that golden rule. It's not complicated. Do unto others as you would have them done unto you. It's as simple as that. Think about other people. Everybody's got their own pain in their lives. They don't necessarily put it on their foreheads and talk about it every day. You don't know what people experienced that morning before you engaged with them. You don't know what they're going home to at the end of their working day. Just compassion, 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 compassion. And thank you. Beautiful. Yeah, yes. lovely, lovely. Oh, so now you've set the standard awesome. and we've all got we've all got an equal or beat it. So I think you should hang on for the two minutes longer that you've got <laughs> just to watch what other people say. <laughs> I'm thinking desperately at the moment. Uh, Julie, you go next. Speak to the speak to the viewing peeps. <laughs> <laughs> 